Now today, Way 31 learned more about a new platform that Huntsville City Schools students and teachers could soon be using. It comes after the district saw gaps in the curriculum platform the state purchased for students that could cause issues if a teacher is out sick or if a student needs to learn independently. Way 31's Sydney Martin is live in Huntsville tonight after speaking to the district about its plans. Sydney. Dan, Huntsville City Schools told me when students return to the classroom next week, they will still continue to do some of what they're doing right now online. And the district also purchased another online platform to help students and teachers. Nothing is changing. We're just trying to improve. But I just want everybody to understand HBA is working. We're going to continue to let our teachers to teach and instruct the best they can. We just want to give them an extra resource if needed. Clarence Sutton, Huntsville City Schools Deputy Superintendent of Learning Supports, told me Tuesday afternoon the district purchased Adgenuity. It helps us self-pace, um, and, and, and mainly it's for independent study, it's for support. So it's similar to schools PLP, uh, a little more um, course offerings and um, something we can blend our learning. The platform will allow student athletes who need to graduate early to work ahead at their own pace. Edgenuity is also certified by the NCAA, and Schools PLP isn't. The district currently only uses Schools PLP for its curriculum and relies on teachers. Edgenuity will allow students to stay on track with or without a teacher. Say a teacher's out for extended period of time for um, COVID-19 concerns, that they are not able to do or uh, have live instructions at home or instruction at home or in the building. Now we have a platform that we can offer lessons, offer some support. Sutton explains schools PLP is monitored by a teacher and will continue to be used when in-class learning resumes next week. We're asking teachers to be in front of the camera and that some students in the classroom will be on the same Zoom that we're on now. And that some students at home will be on the same Zoom or HBA. And so we're having this communication, this dialogue. And Now, Sutton did tell me it's up to the teachers to decide if they want to use the new platform. Students won't see the new platform until after teachers are trained, which is next week, but they don't expect to roll it out for students to use until about the end of the first nine weeks of school. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Thanks, Sydney. And the district told us last month teachers asked for it to purchase Zoom for video conferencing with students because they liked it better than the other conferencing platforms. It told us the board approved that purchase and teachers can now use Zoom if they choose.